The Des Moines Police Department and the City of Des Moines are named in a sexual harassment lawsuit filed today by four female officers and an IT employee. Good evening, I'm Erin Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters. These women say they've all experienced sexual harassment or bias to some degree throughout their years on the force. And now they are taking legal action to try and stop it. Kaylin Thompson spoke with four of those five women tonight. She joins us live outside the Des Moines Police Station with more on the case. Kaylin. Yeah, those women tell me they're speaking up so female officers and female employees like them feel safe at work. When you get a group of women to this extent, it allows for it allows for that comfort to finally speak out about everything that's happened. The women or plaintiffs in the case are leveling accusations against the former longtime police union president, Stu Barnes. They claim Barnes made sexually harassing and degrading comments, even sending them pictures of himself naked. They're upset that instead of getting fired, former officer Stu Barnes was allowed to retire and to collect his pension. Had somebody else done it, there would have been criminal charges. And all of us had asked on multiple occasions, why had he not been charged? And I specifically was told we don't have victims. The suit claims the police department knew or should have known about the harassment, but failed to promptly and effectively stop the harassment. It goes on to say that as a result of the defendant's acts and omissions, the plaintiffs have in the past and will in the future suffer damages including but not limited to mental and emotional distress, fear, anguish, humiliation, embarrassment, lost enjoyment of life, lost wages, benefits, future earnings, and other emoluments of employment. Now, the sp city spokesperson says Chief Dana Wingert saw the evidence from the city's HR investigation and, quote, determined that the misconduct occurred and that he, Chief Wingert, would have terminated the But this raises questions about who might have known and when they might have known it. The legal team tells me that those will be sorted out in court. Kaylin Thompson reporting on a story we will most definitely continue to follow. Thank you.